Hey guys, this is Season Malai. Hi, I'm Anna Ferris. And you're watching my boys, Cabino and Rich. Two guys you'll never see on my show. And you never want to end up in a hot tub with. And you're watching Cabino and Rich. Cabino and Rich. That's the real pack. Anyway, you just heard Valora Music. Hit them up at Valora, V-A-L-O-R-A, Valora Music. They're getting ready to hit the road. Going to Wisconsin, I think, later tonight or early tomorrow for Rockfest in Wisconsin. Bench Sevenfolds performing, Corn, Seven Dust, all the bands that I'm always talking about on Octane. And Valora, you actually hear on Octane. And they're going to perform live. And Look Sid, what a delight! It's a, it's a family act. Sid's in the band with her sister. Sister on the keyboards and everything. Wait, you Sid, you didn't fire your sister, did you? No. <laughs> <laughs> just no, want to make sure. No, I'm just kidding. But yo, Sid is the real deal. Cop a booty feel, and we don't do a lot of live performances. But Sid, you're so impressive. We said we had to do it. So are you excited to hit the road? Definitely. Yeah. I'm excited for that 31 hour drive. Oh my God. Is that for real? So everyone's yeah. going 31 hours just for the show? Uh, yeah, it's a three day festival. But you can't so. like fly out? Why do you got to drive so far? We're musicians. And that's just how you roll? That's what musicians do. <laughs> Cutting costs. That's it, right? The kids don't got to stop anywhere and perform for anybody on the way. Right, right, right. They <laughs> do that on a plane. Right. <laughs> hey, you know, I want to ask you this. I was joking about your sister, but people recognize the band because, oh, oh, Sid's hot and her sister's hot and they're in a band and they yep. rock out and everything. When you got a family act, is it tough? Like we talk about. Yeah, even the, uh, usually uh, join a circus. <laughs> and, uh, no, I mean, do, it's do not a, a family act. act like the, uh, I mean, do you even consider yourself a family act? Because it's just you and your sister and your bandmates. Like, obviously, Ryan's yeah. here and everything, but. Yeah, well, it's just a band has to kind of be a family to function anyway. Right. So it kind of all just blends together i mean taylor and i are real close we finish each other's sentences all that stuff you'd think about sisters um it just gets a little tense when we are having an argument or a fight not re- we don't really fight that much but like in the car if someone's irritated with the other like she's not ready in time or whatever i'm blaming her a lot she's gonna kill me um you know then at practice we're like okay just drop it like, no because you know? i wonder <laughs> if, it, if it ever gets sticky and how, how families get involved and that sort of thing like like chevelle a very popular band who's playing august 2nd i believe in la i'm gonna go check them out uh, you know, they're, they're three, they were brothers, all of them. And they brothers. actually had to kick out a brother. <laughs> they kicked out a brother to bring in the brother-in-law. Oh, shit. So, like, imagine oh, having to kick. Thanksgiving sucks. Yeah, but imagine <laughs> having to kick your brother out the band, you know? Look, I'm not yeah. trying to make it awkward for you. No, Sid, she's but, my ride or die. Right, right. <laughs> okay, so uh, you're not kicking around is what you're saying. No, okay. I'm not. <laughs> but, but being in a band is uh, very much a business, right? Mm-hmm, absolutely. And you're, you've got some big changes going on in your band. Yeah. <laughs> But it's always evolving, right? Um, you know, you gotta just keep progressing, and if you feel like things aren't uh, moving forward, then you gotta make some changes. Now <laughs> it's a big musical week for us here at Cavino Rich because we have our big Wait. performance airing tomorrow. No, no, forget, forget that. I was just, yeah. I was trying to remember the last time, uh, the last time I saw Sid, and I thought it might have been at your 40th birthday party, but it wasn't. It was when we went to go see you perform live. <laughs> yes. And we we all went out and partied that night. Yeah. We had a great night. When but, my brother-in-law went no, out with the- no, that was when your brother-in-law went out with. He thought he was, he was house sitting for someone, and he put Ben Gay in his hair instead of hair gel. And the whole <laughs> night, the whole night, Chris, your brother in law, was like, "My head's itchy," because he he put the, yes. the, as the story it's, goes, it's the infamous story yeah, that you that heard was here the on night the show. We went to go see your band. I did not know that was happening. I wish yeah. I knew. Yeah, yeah. You thought he was just really fired up in the front, <laughs> like in the front, yeah. standing. He was just itchy and losing it. Yeah, like, this guy's losing his mind. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, we have a, a performance that we did, and it airs tomorrow here on Faction Talk, and we put in a full day and a half worth of preparation for our big performance. Right. So I'm wondering <laughs> when you have a huge show tomorrow mm-hmm. or this for the next mm-hmm. uh few days in wisconsin what sort of prep is involved like how long have you guys been practicing how how much do you put into this obviously you know you know you, you perform all the time but yeah how much goes into it um when we have something specific like this festival which we're excited because we're actually playing for a full hour which a lot of times when there's huge headliners like that you don't get an hour you right. get like Okay, 15 minutes or 20 minutes. Um, so we're excited because we're playing like our full set. Um, we've been rehearsing for this for the last, I'd say, month or so, but like every week or twice a week, or you know. So at that, yeah. point, at, at that point, what are you trying to 
figure out like, like are, we, are you just trying to perfect it because at this point right. you know mm-hmm. the songs you know you know you know your chord progressions yeah. you know what notes you're hitting you know the lyrics is at this point just like let's try to fucking perfect this that people are blown away is it really it's is it a level of that like just pr- practice practice to, to make it perfect yeah that and experimenting with different things you know trying things uh, moving I mean you know if you get real technical moving things around or changing keys of songs just for the hell of it <laughs> you know I'm um, wondering when, when you're performing with all these bands that you look up to obviously right I mean you're right. an established band in your own right you've been doing it for a long time but you're performing with Slayer Volbeat Anthrax Avenged Sevenfold Stone Sour uh, Shinedown Megadeth Seven Dust Rob Zombie again we're talking about Rockfest this summer there's got to be a part of you that still wants to, to catch the eye of someone you look up to no like what would be the ultimate compliment <laughs> like, like you like, want them to be passing the stage right, or something right, when you're right. performing like, like, who is that golden voice yeah all like, of them i want all of yeah. them to do that no, but is there someone where it's like wow i'm on the same bill like i i for me little things like that matter like even as a radio guy right when my name was on the schedule with all the guys that i admired rich i'm sure you i, I, I know what you're talking about you know what yeah. i mean like and this is on a, on a bigger scale like yeah. your your band name is up there with you got you know, middle you got middle size font right uh, I middle, did, right. middle I was font. Say, like, it's actually legible if you squint a little bit. No, <laughs> I, was, I was gonna say that you you see on the on the you know when there's like rock t- like a rock compilation any type of thing you, you see the font the font size matters <laughs> yeah. and you're 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 middle so the goal is to uh, next year to just get a little bit the the font grows yeah the bigger the better the, the bigger, bigger the font, font. <laughs> yeah yeah uh, you know thousand foot crunch a lot of bands that you hear on octane and. You know, a lot of bands that you're probably excited to see. Is there, by the way, the bottom row, either my eyesight's bad and I need to go to the eye doctor, but the <laughs> bottom row, those people, like, that should be like in the eye doctor test. Like, can you even read the bottom row? <laughs> well, yeah, you know what? I, I, these festival shows, what is the camaraderie like with the bands? With the bands? So, my. The best example, I think, is, um, I don't know if you guys remember the 48 Hours Festival that was in Vegas. It had a lot of these bands playing. Um, Corn, Godsmack, Avenged Sevenfold, um, Seven Dust was there. That's when I met them. I'm I'm a big Seven Dust fan as well, um, and I love Corn. Do you love the picture uh, opportunities though? Of like, course okay. I do, I, I especially just, because when it's like a I bunch know, of I dudes would. and like I'm just like, okay, well I guess I should stand in the middle. Like, right, right. <laughs> it's it's really it's great to see that you know even though everybody's busy and you know thinking about their own um, set and everything, they're still just regular guys um we all love music we're all there for a reason um so it's really nice to see who's approachable and who's a little bit i mean i I get nervous i'm i'm just awkward in general that's just kind of like my thing i don't like it it's just the way i was born so um so i have to find a way to kind of approach these people that i'm you know in awe of just to be there with them but you know, it's always a lot of fun. Hanging out with Sid and Ryan from Valora. Valora Music, V-A-L-O-R-A. Valora Music, if you want to check them out. Again, Wisconsin Rock Fest uh, this weekend, and they're going to perform live. So tell us about like y- y- your new stuff before you you play the song. What have you been doing? You've been playing new stuff. You've been writing new stuff. Yes, um, I actually have and, and like new album. Like, tell us like what's what's going on. All right, so I have Ryan here in the studio with us. Um, Ryan and I have been playing together for years. We just confirmed today it was 2008. You said yeah, 2008. I uh, was when we met and um, started playing music together, and um, he's been a big part of the new music that we're going to be recording and releasing after Rockfest. Well, Ryan, you left and came back, right? Yeah. Right? So that's so and it's good to have him back. Absolutely. So you feel like the the core of the band uh, is back. Yeah, I feel like um I was just looking at our our zodiac signs today because sometimes when we get into it it's like bad. <laughs> Which could have been, you know, it, just all the years we've known each other and everything. Um so I found out that you're a bull and I'm a Leo. So it's like a lion and a bull just, you know, but you can depend on us to really keep things going, you know. So that's why we write so well together and we work really well together. Um, you want to hear some live music? <laughs> yeah, you know, I want to hear some I'm live thinking, music. It's, it's just our little experience recently, and I'm, I'm, you know, not trying to compare. How at are all. you comparing? I'm not. I'm just our thinking how concert. hard it is. How hard it is because I couldn't even get you to focus. <laughs> yeah, and it was your performance. Oh yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> But uh, I do want to hear you guys live. Uh, thank you for being here. Again, Sid, she's a friend of the show. She's a friend of ours. Al B's hanging out. And again, Ryan is here from Valora Music. Let's check it out. What's the name of the new song? Um, well, this song, we were going to yeah. actually do a little throwback Ooh. and play Waited for You. Oh, people that, might, let's do it. That'd be fantastic. Might hear that. Let's do it. <laughs> Valora is Cavino and Rich. Oh. 
never retreat and never break I tried But I'm addicted, I can't lie Another step is in my sight Another step I see the light I waited for you I waited so long Told you before Can't take anymore I waited for you I waited so long I'm not going home And words. You tell me I'm empty cause you know it hurts But your eyes are spilling out what's real Have I not held back the fight? My body racing out tonight I waited for you I waited so long Told you before Take a Show. I never know where to look when someone's singing because I want to watch them, but I'm like, that's no, creepo. It is, but look, <laughs> no it's, creepo. It's, it's so <laughs> awesome. It's it's hot. It's uh, you know, so nice to have you guys here, Thank Ryan. You. That was awesome. Hey, do you feel the pressure when it's a, a radio sort of performance? Do you feel? Oh, there we go. Do you <laughs> feel an added pressure to that or no? Mm, not really. No, I mean, good. Look what he's I, wearing. I mean, look what I'm wearing. <laughs> <laughs> No, like you've done it so many times. You're such a pro that it really just doesn't even times. matter. Yeah, oh man, that's great, man. That was fantastic. And there's a great video to go along with that. You can see Sid and her sister and the and the band and again. And Ryan. Uh, yeah. Again, just look it up. Waited for you. Uh, it's waited for you, right? Or, I waited. I waited for you. Valora on the Cavino and Rich Show. I, here's a, a random question I was going through my mind. You know, your voice, that's how you guys got popular, your voice, right? I hope uh, so. And, and your musicalities, <laughs> and, and, and Breaking Benjamin got wind, and they wanted you on a track, too, and all that stuff. Uh, guys, you may know Valora from Breaking Benjamin. When, when you got such a powerful voice, and you could do so many different things with it, and rock is not where rock <laughs> should be, do you ever get the urge to say, well, fuck, I can make a pop song if I want to? <laughs> you know, where is that not true to you? Like, I, I'm glad that you make the rock stuff, but I mean... Yeah, well, I... I do a lot of other things. Um, I have some solo music that's going to be coming out as well, and that'll just be under my name, Sid Duran. Um, but oh, okay. even when I do a song that it might seem like it's going to be pop, it doesn't. It sound. It's going to sound rock because my voice it just fits in that. And that's just how it comes out. Yeah. 
Yeah. Wow. This is, this is what happens. <laughs> Perfect. I'll tell you what. That was, uh, yeah, we, we don't do enough live performances on our show. Do I hear one more? I'm fi- I'm, I could hear a little more live music. <laughs> Would you play the uh, Breaking Benjamin one featuring Valora? Yeah. Would that be cool? Yeah. Ryan, I mean, are I you down with that? Cool. I'm absolutely down <laughs> with that. Because I know that's part of your set. I, I, I saw you recently here in L.A. Uh, again, Sid Duran, Ryan is here, Valora, uh, and again, you'll see him at Rockfest in Wisconsin this weekend. Avenged Sevenfold, Corn, and Seven Dust, Valora Music. What's this one called again? Blow me away. Blow me away. Blow me away. Ooh, As heard on Octane. It. All right, let's hear this. <laughs> they fall in line one at a time, ready to play. I can see them anyway. No time to lose. We've got to move. Steady your helm I am losing sight again Fire your guns It's time to run Blow me away I will stay In the mess I made After the fall Shake it up Show me the way Only the strongest Will survive Lead me to heaven When we take on it again you hear it on octane breaking benjamin featuring Flora, and excited to see him at Rockfest this weekend and just excited for the new stuff your your new stuff new album whatever yeah, you we can't wait it's been yeah, a long time it's too been long. way too long and, and your voice is way too good and you guys Thank sound you. way too tight man so really <laughs> excited great. for you and i'm glad you performed on the show uh, my, my last question do you feel a little uh do you miss your sister's harmonies when you're doing this or do you yeah. like the, 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 the cut back <laughs> raw version of it no, I, I feel like it only adds. So it's just like enhancing what's already there. Right. So, of course, I always welcome it. Well, guys, that's why you got to see them live, and we, mm-hmm. we hope you enjoyed them and check out their stuff at Valora Music. Sid, hang, hang around, guys. You guys don't have to leave. Yeah. Uh, and Al B, man, you can come on in. <laughs> and, and Ryan, thank you guys for hanging. That's Valora on the Covino and Rich Show. All right. Thank right you, here. Valora. Thank you guys so much. More Covino and Rich next on Faction Talk 103.